hey everyone welcome back so this is the another best most important scenario based power bi interview questions that has been asked by the tcs interviewer during the recruitment process of power bi developer job role for the experienced candidate okay but before moving into the questions let me show you the data set that i have already imported into this power bi desktop environment that is called as a table one okay and if you really want to see the data then just click on this table view and this here you can see this table one table contain only three columns that is date column state column and sales column okay so this is the sales amount that has been sold out in different state in different date okay and this date column contain the data from 2021 to today's date it means today is the 30th november 2023 okay so based on these three columns we have to find out the top five state based on the sales value and next question is that you have to set the default slicer selections to the current year and that should be dynamically okay so let me show you the output how it should be look like okay so this is the final output all right here you can see these are the top five state based on the sales amount and this is the slicer where we are able to see the current year correct and remember the requirement is that whenever the user will open this power bi report at that time this current year will by default selected okay so today is the 30th november 2023 so year is 2023 that's why in place of current year it means in place of 2023 it is showing the result as the current year okay so as you can see here this is the 30th november 2023 right so here year is 2023 so in place of 2023 it is showing the current year and after one month when it will be complete 2023 and it will come as 2024 at that time here the 2023 will come like this and in place of 2024 it will show the current year dynamically okay so in place of 2024 it will show the current year and 2023 will come like this all right and remember this should be always dynamically you do not need to every time come to this particular slicer and you have to select this current year and you can publish that not like that it should be automatically it should be dynamically so this is the requirement okay so let's see how we can do this so let me tell you how we can achieve our goal okay so as you can see here first requirement is that we have to find out the top five state based on the sales value correct so for that first of all you have to click on this stock column chart okay then here in place of x-axis you have to give the state column and in place of the y-axis we have to track this sales column okay and here you can see this is the output of sum of sales by state got it but our requirement is that we have to find out the top five state based on the sales value so to get the top five result what you have to do first of all you have to click on this visualization then click on this filter sections and here we can see a options or we can see a column called as the state right so just click on this drop down then here in place of base filtering you have to select the top n okay then here you have to enter the five because our requirement is top five correct that's so why here we have to enter the five and in place of value you have to enter this sales column okay then click on this apply filter all right and here you can see these are the top five state based on the sales value got it so in this way we can achieve our first goal that is top five state based on the sales value all right now our next goal is we have to create a dynamic slicer over here right so just click on this slicer okay and here we can drag the year column correct so if you will drag the year column inside this slicer then click on this format sections then go to this selection setting and here in place of this we can give the vertical list all right and now here you can see this is the slicer but here we are able to see 2020 2021 2022 and 2023 but we are not able to see the current year like this dynamically for the current year that is 2023 okay so let's see how we can do this okay so for that first of all you have to go to this transform data okay 
to go to this power query editor and here you can see this is a table one and it contains three columns that is date state and cells right so just right click on this date column then duplicate this column then right click on it then go to this transform and here you have to select the year all right then rename this column as year all right then click enter in this way first of all we have to create one column called as a year from this date column okay then to achieve our goal we have to create another custom column over here okay so for that simple click on this add column then click on this custom column and then here you can see a this type of pop-up over here all right so just click on it then write down this code over here so let me explain this m query that i have written here don't worry this is the simple one okay and here i have used only three functions first one is date time dot local now okay this functions give the result as the today's date all right and from this i want to extract the year so to extract the year from the today's date in m language we have to use the date dot year okay so insert from this highlighted area we are comparing whether our today's year is equal to the year column that is exist in this table one or not okay so if today's year is equal to the year that is available on this year column then we have to write current year otherwise we have to give the same year value that is exist in this year column okay but remember here you can see we have converted this year value into the text format because in this custom column when it will be the current year it means if the current year is equal to the year value then we have to write the current year and this is in the text format that's why we have to convert the year value of this custom column into the text format as well that's why we have used this text dot from m functions to convert this year into the text format all right then just click on this ok button and here you can see we have successfully created another custom column and if you we'll click on this drop down and here you can see now we are able to see 2021 2022 and current year that is 2023 right so wherever this year column contain 2023 okay so at that time the custom column will show as the current year got it that's why we have written that m functions to create this custom column okay so let me clear this filter and now here you can see wherever this other year is there at that time same value is present on this custom column got it so now just click on this home tab then click on this close and apply and now as you can see here we have successfully created one new column that is called as the custom column right so in this slicer visual instead of taking this year column we can drag this custom column into this field section and now here you can see these are the year 2020 2021 2022 and in place of 2023 we are able to see the current year right and in near future when the year will be changed to 2024 at that time here we will able to see 2023 like this and for 2024 we can see the current year like this and it is completely dynamic and we do not need to change it every time okay so to make the selected value in this particular slicer into the current year what you have to do just click on it then go to this format sections here instead of showing it in the vertical form you can select the drop down okay and here just select the current value okay then sync it down and keep it as it is then save the report and you can now publish that report into the server so whenever the customer so whenever the end user will open this report at that time he can see the report on the basis of the current year and you do not need to change the current year every time just select it for once whenever it will come as 2024 at that time in place of 2024 it will you can see the value as a current year okay but now as it is 2023 that's where this data is showing as for the 2023 and if when it will come as 2024 automatically or dynamically this 2024 will be selected as the current year okay so in this way we can create the top five state based on the sales value 
and we can set the default slicer selection to the current year and that is completely in dynamic form all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye